Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent administrator with Stamping Up, and today it's another barn door, but this time it's a double door. It flipped the other way. So, um, first thing you want to do is stamp the... Um, oh, I thought I rained it. Well, I didn't. You want to stamp the wood grain on cherry cobbler, and I use memento black ink. You want to go about, oh, uh, I would say a quarter, uh, yeah, you want to go more towards the bottom, leaving more place at the top. We're going to pass this in the big shot that I thought I already done. So let me roll this through. And then let me bring this. Here we go. So now we do have the double track for this one. Like last week I show you just one track. Now this measure five and three eighths. What I done, I miss up there, see? That's why we get two sides. This measure five and three eight by four and one eight. I just uh, cut a piece of scrap paper that measure five and three eight instead of having to measure everything and I fold it in two. You're going to put that right in the center about and you're going to use one of those pieces that you it came out from the track. Now use a glue dot at the top, a glue dot at the bottom and that's going to be your stopper because if not the, the door would slide all over. Now take this Put that there. Make sure you don't put your glue in your uh, in the center there. Put just over on top of it so you're in the center. So now you get a stopper. This is going to be your stopper. This one seemed to be crooked a bit, but I think it's still good. Don't know if I can push it a bit. Now one thing that I forgot though. And I think it's important when you do a slider or thing like that, take a piece of wax paper and put that on the track. It's going to help of sliding. And the piece of wax paper can be used over and over. Now, I did the, the door already, and that it's in the barn door set. That's the sliding door. You can buy this as a com as a bundle and you save 10%. So again, you get the matching framework for that. Now before we get started, where I put the handle, we're going to take two of the, the washer just to help it slide. And I put it, just put a uh, dimensional there and a dimensional here. Just because the door won't tends to go down a bit. And here you can use if you already bought the six, you can use the six or the eight. Doesn't matter. Just put that there. I just find it that it's helpful for this. Oops, here we go. Gonna put that right here. Now we get that done. Make sure that the handle face each other. Now I use the stylized birthday and I stamp that here. So when you get a door, you get a message there, message there. This one I stamp my birthday right in the center. This piece, before we put the door, we're going to glue this piece. This measure four and a quarter by two and a quarter. One thing that I noticed when I did the other one, you want to make sure you get plenty of adhesive on the side so your washer won't get stuck there. You don't want that to raise up at all. We're going to line that up right in the center here. That look about right. And make sure it's pressed good. Okay, now you're going to take, I like to use the washer, the number 8 going to take one of the mini dimensional, put that in the back, try to put that in the center of the hole, and then we're going to put that right here. And you're going to have to do that on all, oops, make sure you don't crunch that uh, dimensional. Do that on all four. So one in top, bottom. So to speed it up, I prepare them in advance, and I'm just going to squeeze them in. Here we go. 
So that's another way that you can do it. I just wanted to speed up the video here. Here we go. Okay, you have to leave this. Something seems sticky here. Make sure you don't have no sticky on your... Uh, I got a sticky here. Let me make sure this... You know what? I'm going to have to remove this one. I had a glue dot or something there. That's a big no-no because it won't slide. So let me switch that around. Here we go. So now you want to push that right in the center where the stopper is. Now you're going to take glue dots. We're going to put again about three glue dots. And if you go at FrenchyStamps.com or right above in the eye or below, you're going to have the link to go right to this post. I'm going to have all measurement, all uh, supplies that I use. Also, I'm going to have the link of the other uh, one that I did with just one single track. I'm going to have about three video using the barn door differently maybe more down the road and I get the spinner to using the the barn door I get this spinner here so I get a few different one so push that in all the way there where you get your stopper now you're going to take your door mount that right go in the center of this that look about right then press down now move that away put the other one and again we're going to use glue dots and you want to do the same thing top and bottom and here we go now we're going to push this one here and we're going to go right I want that to match together. Here we go. So now that should work perfectly. Now what you're going to do is take your, uh, and again, that it's all part of the framelit. The, I call that the little track. So you're going to push that together to close your, put your track in. You're going to put this here, put your glue, and this, my fine tip glue, I empty my fine tip glue and I put um, multi-purpose glue in it, Tombow. And the reason why I put Tombow, it's because Tombow, it's much stronger than the fine tip glue, and that's what I like to work with. Now I'm going to put that about right here. And then you're going to put your little wheel the slider that I call, that you just want to put glue right at the top, uh, circle, not circle, but all there. That's it, because the, the other one is just floating. Then I'm going to, let's make sure this is close here. Put that right here. And then I would do that on four, uh, the four corners. To speed that up, Okay, it's one of those Monday, the battery one dead. So what I was saying, move this here. So you see I got four of them already uh, glue for you. And I got that vertex there. So now, like the other one, I'm using the adhesive strip in the back, the foam strip. And I use about two and a half strip of them. I'm going to have all those supplies you can order direct on my blog. And I put that in the back. Now we're going to remove this, the backing of it. And we're almost done. We're going to mount that on our card base. I use cherry cobbler that measure five and a half by eight and a half. Score at four and a quarter. And you get the full um, card. Let me show you here. Right here. So this measure five and a half by eight and a half score at four and a quarter i'm going to show you the inside in a minute i'm going to put that right here so that's our red barn and then at the front here i can put maybe two reeds i think i'm going to put two reeds on this one to decorate it and that come also with um, your uh, stamp set i think i'm going to add the the reeds in there 
so uh, to see the finished product just visit my blog so then see now when you slide it you get the barn door that slide out you can slide it back in and then open it up and I put the cowboy boots that's from the country living stamp set but see when it's open so if they slide it to see they're going to slide it any way they're going to move the card it should slide so hopefully they think about checking those what's inside those door right for the birthday oh this can be glue a little bit better here so make sure you get enough glue on your um because you don't need much but you need enough so it's going to stay i think i had move it so it was equally so here we go so now you got it so this is it for the double door um, like I said, I'm going to put the wreaths in the front of it, so just come at my blog at frenchystamps.com. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.